So, I've almost finished my video. The track I wanted to use wasn't available in libraries and archives I looked in, but I've found another one that works really well on a CD that I bought this morning. I'll just copy the track onto my computer. What? The owner of the protected content you're trying to access requires you to upgrade some of your DRM components on your computer? DRM? What on earth does that mean? Let's see. Oh, look! There's a video called Contract and DRM. Copyright exceptions are in danger. Interesting. Contracts and technology play a crucial role in the copyright system. When authors and publishers decide how to share the profit from copyright works, they do so through contracts. When commercial users arrange the terms of use for creative works with authors, such as royalty payments, they use contracts. When private users purchase copyright works on analog media, they do it under the standard terms of sale contract. In the digital environment, these contracts take the form of licenses. Electronic licenses state what you can or cannot do with a copyright work, leaving you no room for negotiation. Take it or leave it. The problem is that many of these licenses are more restrictive than copyright law itself. The British Library, for example, analyzed 100 licenses and found that 90% of them did not respect copyright exceptions. Copyright law enables libraries to copy an electronic journal, but the license they have to accept may include restrictions about copying. If the license sets the rules, then the technology forces users to respect them. Right holders may in fact apply technological protection measures to their works in order to prevent any use that they have not authorized. Even if such uses are permitted by law, TPMs are legally protected. That is, if you mess around with them, you are punished. The combination of licensing agreements and TPMs creates a digital rights management system, which sets restrictions on how digital copyright works may be used. These systems can be pretty intrusive, preventing you from exercising your legal right to do things allowed by copyright exceptions. In these cases, there is a possible solution, at least in theory. According to copyright law, if you benefit from an exception, but you are not able to use the work because it is protected by a TPM, you may, in theory, issue a notice of complaint to the Secretary of State. However, this procedure is so difficult that so far no complaints have been made to the Secretary of State. Also, this mechanism doesn't apply for works distributed online. For example, if you want to use a song that you've purchased online for a research project and a TPM prevents you from using it, then you can't use it. And that's that. The British government is beginning to tackle the problem, at least on the contract side. It proposes to introduce a clause applying to every exception provided by the Copyright Act, which would make clear that any contract term that would restrict the use of an exception cannot be enforced. It's not clear if it will affect TPMs as well, but time will tell. Wow, I definitely know more about copyright law now, but this video had quite a few big words. DRM, TPM, I think I need to watch it again. Okay guys, see you later.